up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Uh, really appreciate that continued support, you guys. And I'm going to bring you a song that's been requested a lot lately. It's the Lady Gaga Star is Born song. Uh, zoom in. It's pretty easy, but some cool little embellishments and stuff. Also, thanks for that extra support by going to martymusic.com and signing the newsletter. All right, here we go. Basically, three sections to this song. So let's learn section one. We'll call it the verse. So there's some different voicings and things going on, but the simplest part is that it's an E minor chord and a D with the F sharp in the bass. I use my thumb. Some people would go like that. I think it's easiest to think of it as a D chord and try and get your thumb around that. And then a G chord. And so from this D, the easy G transition would be this one with the double fingering there. So you'd have this, E minor. Now, sometimes you play E minor with these fingers or these fingers. It's up to you. E minor, D, G. Now we're gonna go to a regular C. Regular C, G, G, D. But there's tricks in there, but let me just do the simple chords first. E minor, D, G. C, C. Now let's add some of the some of the tricks to it. E minor, most of the time he's playing E minor 7 with a one of your fingers has to hit that third fret B string. I'm um, third fret B string. However you can do it. I think I'm probably doing it that way most of the time with pinky and then these fingers on E minor. That stays the same. Then on C, uh, you're adding your pinky to that. Basically, that third fret B string's kind of getting uh, emphasized in the chord changes. So, so we go C, then. One, three, so C, one, three on the B. Then back to the kind of lower note, so. So. And then a little high E, B while you're holding that. Check it out. Now it doesn't have to be that way, but that's what's happening, you know, in the recording. So here we go again, E minor, seven. Uh, Here comes that C. And now with that, once again, third fret B string, I'm just gonna move my middle and ring into that G shape there while keeping that. So it's really a G, but that's kind of the, what you're hearing. You're not really even hearing the high E there. To the D. And then on the D, you do a hammer on pull off with that middle finger on the second fret of the high E. Do you have to do every, you know, every little embellishment the exact same way? No, of course not. It's still that core thing. All right. A minor to D. A minor to D, 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 D. Classic G 
walk down A minor chord D classic G walk down to E minor Classically. So you got G, then you got that D with the thumb over F sharp again. E minor. But he's hitting that E minor 7. I mean, I know I'm as good as a singer, but I'll let you use your imagination. So that's the other section A minor. Alright, the final build up section. Gonna need one bar chord, it's gonna be B minor. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was just listening to it. So B minor to D. Then this is weird, but A major. So that's the only other uh, thing that you need for the song. All right, thank you again, you guys. Really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, also, I appreciate you signing the newsletter at martymusic.com. You can leave requests in the comments below. And I hope to see you again real soon. See you later. It's not the same. We've changed in so much time. Calling out the blame, steady in our angels.